Thursday, February 26th, Hollywood Stunt Dummies. Hollywood Stunt Dummies, All baby! Right. I wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to do it. I really wasn't, to be honest with you. I went into this thing like, I don't know if I'm gonna come out of this thing with the footage I need. Here's our budget, guys. <laughs> <laughs> And written on a little piece of paper. Since we didn't have a budget, we had to steal a lot of the stuff. We took him to a hospital. He wasn't hurt at all, and we said he hurt his ankle. You know, we need a wheelchair to get an x-ray. You can actually see in the videos, like, you see like a little black spray paint mark. That's because we were covering the letters ER for emergency room. This guy's hired me, right, to shoot this film for him. Well, I asked him about permits, you know. Permits are, in this area, permits are important. Hollywood, you can't do shit without a permit. And I asked them, first thing, where's your permit? Well, you know what they told me? They told me, fuck, we don't need permits. And guess what? We got stopped by Downey PD on our set, guns drawn, and they almost got my ass shocked. That was the beauty of the Hollywood Stunt Dummies pilot. No way, Hollywood. Fucking kick your ass! Oh. <laughs> 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 That's that rap. You man die! <laughs> I think we got in the news today. We bag it. Into the dumpster. Great. Great. Me and my brother came up with the idea back in September. We originally make DVDs, that's how we kind of broke into entertainment. You know, in Hella Crazy 2, we were just hanging out one day with the crew and we found this like big rock. And um, this big rock, we had this big hill and we had a bunch of idiots with us. So we're like, yo, wouldn't it be cool if we can reenact the Indiana Jones stunt in the movie? We need to make a show about that. You know, uh, a group of guys and girl who reenact stunt scenes for movies on like, you know, a lower scale, you know, not Hollywoodish, you know, with no millions of dollars to spend out and, you know, it's a little or no budget show, but we're reenacting these damn stunt scenes and it's going to be funny as hell because we're going to act like them, we're going to dress like them. We just found this hill that looked like the hill from Forrest Gump with the exception of the snow because we were in Hollywood, they were in Alaska or probably. Or some take one. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> the night before we started filming, we were in my apartment doing rehearsals, and I, I don't know, I was like, I was kind of worried about the acting, you know? I was like, shit, can these guys act? <laughs> Lieutenant Dan! Well, that's just perfect. Legs was playing Lieutenant Dan, Flying Ryan was playing Forrest. Lieutenant Dan! They seriously killed it. Like, I was so happy with their acting. The only problem we had with that scene was the wheelchair that we stole from the hospital. No matter what we did, it wouldn't go down the hill and crash. Legs was trying to flip it over and, you know, we were trying to, we, we even put like a, a, a piece of wood at the end to maybe like make it hit and flip over. This wheelchair would not Freaking crash. They were like, it was some safety device where the wheels were like curved this way, so it prevents a crash from happening. Um, finally, I was just like, screw it. So Flying Ryan just pushed him down as fast as he can and crashed into a couch. You alright, Legs? That was the winner. Because, yes, I got it too. Toxic Avenger Part 2 was probably the most interesting shoot we've done. A location, it's just this white wall. We can shoot it anywhere, you know, we're not gonna get in trouble and... Mike is playing the guy that's like beating the shit out of these two people with a loaf of bread. Crazy Mike's hitting people with bread and I'm choking uh, legs and... Uh, Me and Miss Extreme were getting hit with bread and we were sitting there like this, like 
looking unconscious and everybody driving by just called the cops. And I guess someone was driving by and called the cops and said they were like beating him up with a belt. So the whole Downey Police Department came, there must have been about 10 of them. They pulled out their guns and uh, started yelling at us, stop what you're doing, blah, 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 put your hands up on the wall and all this shit. And like, we're just film, filming, you know, and they're pulling out woo, guns woo, on us and shit. Woo, cops everywhere, freeze, put your hands down, put your hands down. Yeah, you know, we tried telling the cops, hey, we're just trying to make the film world a better place. And that was the first time I've ever had a gun pointed at me with intent to kill. Oh man, you really scared me with that gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've never had somebody, a cop, hold a gun to me. The way the call came out, it sounded pretty serious. The way it came out is uh, there's five guys beating on one guy, and he's unconscious now. My yeah, we were just doing Toxic Avenger and like they got a call saying it was like a real fight going down and cops <laughs> came with guns and everything and we're all like against the wall with our heads down. <laughs> but we got the footage. There's a shot where we had Miss Extreme and Flying Ryan dress up like twins and we had to put a pie in her face so we had two guys stand on ladders and I was so worried about getting the shot. As soon as you hear their voice, that's when you guys toss it. So we needed to film it. We can't do second takes on these things, you know. We couldn't put the pies in her face, clean it up, put more pies in her face. We didn't have more pies left. Oh good. Here we go. Well, this is it. Um, action. Booyah, and it was magic, perfect. Baby, I was so magic. happy with Fuck the shot. Yes. Class of Newcomb High, a success, baby. A success.